We are in the Cube, which is a mixed reality research space. The capabilities of this room are unique in that we have 148 loudspeakers, we have a 24 camera motion capture system, we have a 32 foot diameter cyclorama from the Illuminati, and we also use head mounted displays and head mounted computers for virtual reality research. The primary display software that we're using is something called World Viewer, made by the Illuminati. Uh, World Viewer is great because it's been very flexible for us. We can bring in spherical video, sort of like you know, video that goes all around you. One example is we went to a basketball game here at Virginia Tech, and we recorded 360 video, which we put up on the screen. We also recorded 360 audio, so it's sort of an experience of what it's like to be courtside. We can communicate with WorldViewer very flexibly using the OSC protocol. So we can have the audio running on one machine and communicate sync messages back and forth so we can skip between times, you know, move through the video, restart it, just play it however we want. That flexibility has been awesome for us. We also use it a lot for interactive content. We use um, something called Omnity, a plugin for Unity made by the Illuminati. The system also interfaces well with the other things we have going on here, we can take the motion capture data from our cameras, port it into Unity, which then gets displayed on the screen in 360. That works really well. One of the challenges we have using several head-mounted displays is dealing with large groups of people. And when we have public events like the Virginia Tech Science Festival, the Cyclorama is excellent to show upwards of 50 people at a time a 3D visualization. And in this case, at the Science Festival, we're all looking at a particle collider together and talking about what that means. We've had such a positive reaction at the Science Festival. We've had families come in and kids say, wow, this is amazing. First of all, they've never seen what subatomic particles look like or what the trajectories look like, but now they can. And they can talk about it with students and faculty in physics and get a better understanding of what, what's going on in that world of physics. It's been fantastic for us, first of all, for an event like this. It's excellent scientific outreach to the community. It looks awesome on a screen like this. They, people can walk in and get into it quickly. And eventually the destination for this project is for students in the senior level physics class to be able to come in and learn something about uh, the Bell 2 physics detector, the part, Bell 2 particle detector, how it works, and to be able to get a sort of virtual experience of it to hopefully as a sort of active learning Instead of just reading about it in a textbook, they can walk through it and see these events happening. That's a really powerful experience in the space.